Well, after uh, Patty Waugh and I, we had a nice break in the schedule. So it was a good opportunity for us, and it was the right time of year to have a little Halloween party. It was a good chance for everyone to get together and, you know, kind of do a little team bonding. Where's Maul? Where is Maul? There he is. Most disturbing transvestite you've ever seen right there. Those things are great to have. You know, you get to see a different side of guys. That's just not right. <laughs> it's just not right. The best costume is definitely mine. You know, I was the best looking guy there, or girl, whatever you want to say. Hey, I asked him not to look at us. He makes a bad girl. He does. It's, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was disturbing. You're not going to show this, right? Yeah, bring <laughs> You know, guys seriously at the rink, and you see a little bit of joking around with them, but when you get them out in an atmosphere like that, you get to see, one, if they have wives, how their wives are. You know, you get to meet people a little bit more, gel a little more. Two, just be around them and have fun. <laughs> Man, we don't have karaoke here. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> oh, Joey. Oh, jeez. Hey, exactly. That's nasty stuff. <laughs> now, here's the best costume. The best costume. I'm a little offended. Kareem dressed up as Benny Hanna, and obviously we know he didn't really have to do much. We need some diversity <laughs> training here, guys. <laughs> this is a little offensive, okay? We didn't really want to pick on Kareem, but it was so easy, we had to. You guys come in here and dress as ninjas when you know we have a Chinese guy in our team? We had a good party. It was, it was fun, I think, the, you know, those things built builds the team together when you get together I like that, have a few beers and have fun. Last night, some weird costumes up there, but I feel sorry for the rookies. They have to go dressed up on the plane to New York as Batman, Robin, and uh, Wonder Woman. So it's going to be a good time for all of us. It's easy to say I got nothing in my pockets. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if you've gotten a shot of Phil Sove at all. It wasn't a very flattering outfit for him, obviously. With all the hair on his body, it looked a little funny. No, they aren't laughing They're with me. me. They're laughing at me. She's laughing at me. Right. right. Always with you. Lead the way, Batman. Yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta go farther than I do. Just ran into the sand trap to start because he thought he was your guy. But yeah, he just popped up. Towards the front of the plane are the computer geeks, uh, which I unfortunately am involved with. We all are connected with computers. We played Tiger Woods golf against each other. Take a guess who's Jesper Parnovic. Peter Forsberg is probably the worst golfer on the plane, without question. He hasn't won a game in probably five or six road trips, so he's a little bit behind. And then way back, we have, uh, I think there's eight card players playing uh, Texas Hold'em. I don't know if any money's ever changed hands, you know, because I don't know if that's legal, but they, they play for fun. Where are the we, me and you split all this. Count all those up. Cover, where do you have? I had two pairs right at the Although each player sought comfort in their distraction of choice, it was impossible to ignore the significance of the challenge that lay ahead. It's going to be fun tomorrow. We're playing uh, New Jersey Devils Stanley Cup champion. It's always nice to measure yourself to the best team in the NHL. And the way they've been playing since last year, I think they're the best team and they're the team to beat. So it'll be a good test for us, especially in their building. These guys are a real disciplined team. Stanley Cup champs last year, so we got to be ready to go tonight here. Obviously very good at what they do with the trap. They hold back, they, they're in that box. I think this guy can gain right away if he does it. If this guy pinch him, this guy support, throw it back. No problem, we got a lot of patience. Get ready to battle, get ready to outwork him, put your on the line, I'll compete and we'll get out of here with two points, all right? Pick him up behind you, Nico. Racing back in is Breezen, waits, shoots, scores! is up with it. Three and two and one last drive and the Devils have won it. The lessons are learned when you, when you make mistakes they end up in your net and you don't win games. That's you know, pretty obvious that, uh, that we can't play that way. So we got to make sure that tomorrow uh, we learn from what happened today and, and you go out and you, uh, you go to battle again. Thank you. You're welcome. In Madison Square Garden, Rangers and the Colorado Avalanche set to go. Go, oh, Abby, you're a man here, baby. Come on, now. Come on, Abby, you got it. Come on, Abby, you got it. 
Long way to go, 13 and a half remaining. The Avs have cut the lead in half. 2-1 now, Rangers with the lead. Here comes the Sackett line again. Both teams going with three lines. Here's Hayden, oh. 50 move on Pony. Moves it on Dunham, around the net. Flips it into the crease and it's in the back of the net. Woo! Yeah, nice job in the middle. Uh, here we go, four on four to start the overtime. One minute gone on the overtime as the Avs just keep pounding. Scratch it again, fires! Oh, oh, yeah. And the Avalanche come back from 2 nothing down to win in overtime. <laughs> Guys, you learned a lot about yourselves and what work ethic means for a hockey team. And that's 20 players busting their ass from the start of the faceoff till the last second. Put this one behind us now. Remember yesterday and what a bad effort and, and five or six players showing up to a game meet. You get 20 guys every single night, you battle like crazy. In early October, Denver's hockey faithful were anticipating an offensive assault led by a team of all-stars. By mid-November, those hopes were put on hold as a patchwork lineup became the norm, allowing the injured precious time to heal. Right now we have a, a rash of injuries. We have three surgeries going here in the last uh, 36 hours. We have uh, two groin injuries, four shoulder injuries, a low back injury, and two ankle infections. Other than that, we're fine. <laughs> you just have to understand that's part of the NHL. A lot of other teams are going through the same thing we are, so we can't feel sorry for ourselves, or we can't say, you know, it's okay to be in second place or third place or, or whatever. We have to have the expectations that we're still very capable uh, to win consistently and, and be the top team in the National Hockey League. You know, I came in here and I knew some of the guys like Joe and, and uh, Blakey and, and Footer and guys like that, and um, their attitude towards the game kind of rubs off. I mean, guys know that once the puck drops, there's a job to do, but, you know, outside of that, it's it's really loose and you kind of, you know, you have this conversation all the time about, you know, would you be able to do this if you were in uh, a nine to five job? And I think the stuff that goes on in the dressing room is really the stuff that you miss when, when you're done playing. Let's go, Polly boy. Happy birthday. I'll buy you a chocolate milk after the game. Free it down a little bit, free it down. Well, this camera action, you start lifting off. It's going to work over. You know, you're never going to find that really close-knit group where you're, you know, 23 guys that are, are, are hanging around for, you know, every day and, and uh, going out to dinner and, and, you know, traveling on the plane and, and doing all these things. You're never going to get that in, in any other kind of occupation. That's, that's something that uh, you really have to uh, enjoy while you're here because it's, it's not going to be here forever. No Forsberg tonight with that groin injury, but the Avalanche do get Paul Korea back. Ten games ago, of course, Korea got injured. He missed those ten games. Great to see Korea back for the Avalanche. If you look at the positives that may come out of this, hey, he's got time to uh, come back nice and fresh. I think sitting out and watching our lineup and knowing how he can help us when he gets back is also beneficial. So uh, he's going to be a big spark for us. We just been given the official word from the, the Avs press staff with the injury report. It is a risk for Korea. He will not return. You know, we just had some terrible luck so far this year with just guys going down and injuries just, just like coming about. I think the one thing that we got to stay positive is it's still early in the air. And uh, we've been able to, to keep getting our points and, and play fairly well. Into Solani. He works in. Church. He scores! And the Avs win 3 0. This team has hardly had its whole lineup together the whole season, it seems. Every game, not just one player, but two and three players. I know, I know. The thing is that. Uh, ah, it's tough, you know. That's the worst part of this game, you know, those injuries. And. Uh, uh, it's frustrating. You know, I was looking forward to just getting back in the lineup, and then, uh, you know, for this to happen, it's disappointing. But. Big thing now is just to get, uh, get healthy and uh, get ready to go.
very happy to be here. What grade are you guys? Third grade. Third grade? Well, it's nice to meet all of you. I know what a great job our, our, our guys do here. We're real proud of that. The players are involved in a lot of ways throughout the community and they're out there and I think that the city embraces the players and uh, the players love them back. Where's the camera? Oh. <laughs> it's been unbelievable right from when we got here back in 95. Uh, we've been embraced uh, by the whole city and um, you know we sold out right from day one and it's a great sports city. What is your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show, Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> That's fun. That's funny. I, I have a good time watching Joe Sackick interact with people because with us, he generally is so guarded and he, he's so proud of himself to be called Quoteless Joe and, and I've seen him in action in enough places know he has an absolutely wicked sense of humor. And another reason that I played hockey? I was playing soccer at the same time. My dad told me to pick one, and it was raining when I was playing soccer. So I didn't like the rain. <laughs> but boy, when you take out the tape recorder and the notebook and turn this on, he immediately steps back and turns bland. And one of the challenges is to kind of present the real Joe Sackick to the public. You know who my favorite band is, though? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the Eagles. Yes. I saw their concert. They were really good. Yeah, I don't know if you kids know the Eagles treated us real well and and it, all the new guys that come in uh, you know players that get traded it, it's the same thing uh, you know they just love they, they love the hockey team and they, they support everybody